New details tonight into the case surrounding the Petersburg abduction suspect. Christopher Jones went before a judge today to face carjacking and abduction charges in the case that left 76 year old Minnie Wooder dead. The suspect identified with a religious culture that's often viewed as radical. New at 11, our Brent Solomon is live right now. Brent, you spoke with a Richmond group which refers to itself as Israelites. Yes, Heather, it's actually part of a national movement where people who once identified as black or African American re-examined their roots and now identify as descendants of Jerusalem. Well, leaders of that group tell me they're often misassociated with a similar practice, and that's where Christopher Jones comes in. Take a look at Christopher Jones's Facebook page. One image promoting power through faith. Another with a gun pointed at the face many consider to be Jesus. When you read in like Revelations chapter 1, mm -hmm. it tells you that Christ is a dark-skinned man with woolly hair. Are you a Christian? Yeah, but not, we're not in Christianity. Ozias Hillekin is a part of the Israelite movement. He believes he did not originate from Africa, but Jerusalem. Our identity is being erased. There's another segment of folks who identify as black Hebrews, promoting images like this one, also visible on Jones's Facebook page. Hillekin says the two groups are often mistaken for one another because both believe that they are descendants of the ancient Israelites. We have certain incidents where we see that people do things and they claim to be doing it by faith or religion. And when they tag the Israelites in with that, this is not a religion. This is us returning back to really truly returning back to who we are as a people. Hillekin says true Israelites do believe in Christ being the son of God. But take a look at Jones's beliefs. Here you see an African themed graphic saying Jesus is fake. Jones also posted Yahuwah, another name for God. And he says, he's my rock in salvation. This individual never came out of the world. The only way that when you read this Bible that you could be um, a part of the movement is if you're following laws in Christ. This gives Israelites, period, a bad name. All right, today the medical examiner's office confirmed that Woodard's death was actually a homicide. Investigators tell us that Jones actually pointed them to the whereabouts of her body, but he has not been charged in her death as of now. Police also have questions regarding his girlfriend, why she was found dead on the same day Woodard's husband was allegedly robbed and abducted. We'll stay on this one. Live in Richmond, Brent Solomon, NBC 20.